Hey guys, welcome. We are here at Worldwide Corals. I am joined by Carlos. We had a great viewing of the storefront and a great tour of the farm. We had you guys submit some questions, so now he's going to answer them for us. First thing, all of your tanks look incredible. What are your tricks? Well, honestly, um, it's, it's an array of things. Um, we have a husbandry team that kind of goes around, monitors the tanks, there's water chemistry happening every single day, and if something changes, uh, they check it. Let's say alkalinity is off on one system, you know, they make sure for five days everything's cool, and then they go back to a regular uh, water test schedule. So, okay, smart, keep them yep, checking exactly. day after day if something yep. is off. Um, kind of goes hand in hand with maintenance. How do you feed? Do you spot feed, broadcast feed? Does that vary from tank to tank? It does. Um, here, I'm not sure if you guys watch different videos or customers that come in and ask us questions. Um, we have timers that go off and we feed almost on every hour, depending wow. on the systems. So a lot of the f uh, systems that do, we do have is not just, you know, just to have a lot of fish. It's fish, so that way, you know, they're meant to coexist with the corals. So as we're feeding the corals, they absorb that food. A lot of it is not absorbed by the fish, so when it's expelled, a lot of those corals, you know, they're feeding the corals as they're going in, so, you know. Yeah, it all works together, exactly, huh? Exactly. Do you have any future plans for this tank behind us? Um, Expanding mangroves anyway, or well, is it kind of locked and loaded and just growing up. We're point. always changing. So as things, I don't know if you guys remember, but this center here, we had a lot of euphilia. Okay. Um, which will probably go into your next question. <laughs> um, we have a lot of Ghanis throughout the tanks. I mean, Ghanis are just thriving and doing really well in this aquarium behind us here. I don't know if you guys see that from there, but uh, with the same question with the mangroves, the mangroves, it's actually growing really well. I don't know if you see the new spouts taking off there. Uh, we water it every day and it's, it's doing really well. So I don't think that we're going to do another mangrove. No, Not just the one. Yeah. No, it, I mean, it's incredible. It's yeah. a tank of its, of its own kind. Um, this might be what you're referring to. <laughs> what do you think the next fad will be in reef tanks? Honestly, I mean, right now, I've, I've, I'm always on Reef to Reef, Instagram, things like that. Right. And I've, I've seen Ghanis kind of not be so popular, and they're just super popular now. And I mean, I love Ghanis. We have another tank there where it incorporates a lot of them. If you see the center of the rocks here, a lot of different strains, different colors, and they're just gorgeous and super easy to maintain after obviously an They can take up a lot of space too, which Correct. is great yeah. for people with large tanks. All right, last question for you. Can you explain your quarantining process for new corals coming sure. in? So when corals do come in, obviously we have the farm next to us. Uh, when they come in, we'll get a coral, make sure it looks good and healthy, then they get isolated into their quarantine. And in the quarantine, they look uh, over, making sure they're fine, no flatworms like euphilia, things like that. Uh, Montes and acros, obviously, if, you know, experts know that's, that's uh, a lot more tedious. So that goes through, you know, weeks of quarantining, make sure everything's fine. And from there, it makes its way to different systems. Some are grown, some are kept. And then from there, you would see them on a website, be on the sales floor, things like that. So it's super important that, you know, we take time, as we do here, I mean, with the quarantine process that we do. So we're not having those issues when the corals make it in here. Meanwhile, we're right. taking care of that right. in the quarantine systems. I, so super important. Hopefully you saying that too makes people understand more so that it is a long process. Yes. It's not just, okay, I can put it in the right. tank for a week and if exactly. I don't see anything, it's fine. It's, it it's, it's a long <clears throat> process. So thank you for answering That's those fine. questions. Thank you guys for asking them and we'll see you later. Thanks thank for you tuning guys. in. We'll see you soon.